V2 gates leading to the head office of oil company ITO Group in Port Hackett, River State, are barricaded by people from Tuam Brass community in Bielsu State. They are in the River State capital to protest against the company's operations in their area. After a failed attempt by an official of the company to address the protesters, seven of their leaders are allowed in for a discussion. About 50 minutes elapsed before the Tuam Brass representatives came out of the meeting and addressed the media. We are here in Potako, but their operations are uh, settled in uh, uh, Brass uh, River. So if they don't take absolute responsibility and meet with the community adequately, I think uh, the next action of uh, the youth will shock them. The future for who, whose livelihood has been stopped because of the movement of these vessels, if um, an alternative um, livelihood method has been created to elevate the poverty and the sufferings of our people, they should serve as a warning to not just like you, to other companies as well, to take those communities seriously because the activities cannot take place in the sky. But on people's land, they call tank farm and all that, and rivers and all that, that belongs to people's um, uh, ancestral land. The Tuam Brass people sent a message to the company through their representative in the Bayelsa House of Assembly. We should be recognized as a host community. And a lot of communities there have been deprived of their fishing rights. So part of their social corporate responsibility is to sort out those people. In terms of employment, we are demanding for a reasonable part of employment. Then there are security jobs and other areas. It is the responsibility of every responsible company to meet with their host. So on the part of the company, they have communicated to their management and they said in no distant time, a date will be communicated to the community where delegates or leadership of the community will meet with them to iron out the very pressing issues. Two weeks from now, if nothing is done, if we don't get any communication from them, we will now meet and take the next line of action. While no company official was willing to address the media directly, ITO Group later promised to meet with the leadership of the community as part of efforts to resolve the crisis. Ovietime George, Arise News.